Yo there guys, this is Cobb and in this video I'm going to share what I reckon are going to be some really strong Warlock specs for Arena, Rated Battlegrounds and normal BGs. But before I get to that I'm going to cover stat priority for Warlocks in 5.2. First I want to cover Reforging. There's been a lot of debate about this and some people have even decided that Haste is the most effective stat for Destro. Now I've tried Haste and although I thought it was really good for overall DPS, it really really lowers the damage of your Chaos Bolts which is going to hurt your burst overall. I prefer to hold onto that big burst so I'm going for Mastery. I reforge Mastery because it increases Chaos Bolt damage and a bit of general spell damage as well as the healing you get from Ember Tap. After Mastery I go Crit and then Haste. My reforging priorities look something like this. Now for Gemming, um, in my gems I prioritise Resilience but this is a little bit down to preference. You can go for, say, Mastery again in your gems, or even PvP power if you feel it increases your damage more, you know, if you want to gem offensively, and maybe you prefer to play a lot more in Battlegrounds, but I wouldn't advise gemming offensively if you play a lot of Arena like I do. Pound for pound, Resilience is by far the best stat in the game, so if you feel like you're getting targeted a lot, it's well worth stacking it in your gems. These are the current set of gems I'm using right now. Now for talent specs. First I'm going to go over the talents really really fast just to refresh our memories of some of the changes in 5.2. Then I'm going to go over a few viable spec options. No changes on the first tier, Dark Regen is still the strongest talent on here without a doubt. On the second tier there are no changes to Howl, Coil or Shadow Fury. Just choose these depending on your arena setup but Shadow Fury is probably the strongest overall as a pointer. On the third tier we have seen huge buffs to Sacrificial Pact. It now sacrifices 25% of either your demons or your health to make a 400% shield. It's definitely the strongest talent now on this tier in most cases, but Dark Bargain might still be better for RBGs for surviving those really really hard swaps, so use your best judgement. On the 60 tier, Blood Fear has been replaced with Blood Horror, which horrors melee attackers when they attack you. The effect is okay and the health cost is tiny, but the cooldown is pretty long at 30 seconds. Ignoring Burning Rush entirely, we also have Unbound Will here, a strong second trinket really useful for breaking CC when you are not the target in Arena. On the 75 tier, Grimoire of Sacrifice was nerfed down to 15%. The Grimoire is still okay for boosting damage and it does enough to justify not having a pet around, but the other two Grimoires are now definitely an option for Destro and PvP. The Sacrificial Pact buff has also buffed up Grumar of Supremacy a little bit, making it better than Grumar of Service in most cases. And this is because demons have more health with Supremacy, so the shield from Sacrificial Pact is actually a good chunk bigger. On the final tier there are no real changes, Archimondes Vengeance is awful, Kil'jaeden's Cunning is good for mobility, and Manoroth's Fury is essential to AoE fights. Ok, now I'm going to jump right into my arena spec and explain my choices. Dark Regeneration is the best healing talent of course. Now I've gone for Howl of Terror on the 30 tier because I'm playing with a Monk healer and he uses Leg Sweep for a 5 second stun. My Monk stun plus the Capacitor Storm stun from our Elysium means that going for a Shadow Fury just leads to me DRing the stuns of my partners a lot. So for my comp, Howl of Terror is the best option. If I wasn't playing with a Monk with his Leg Sweep stun I'd almost surely be going for Shadow Fury. For arenas, just pay attention to who you're playing with before you pick a 30 talent. Next up, I go for Sacrificial Pact, which is still the best talent even though I'm currently in Grimoire of Sacrifice spec. Pop it early and the shield is just insane. It's on a short cooldown, can be used while stunned, and even though you do use 25% uh, of your health just to cast it, it really is a massive shield. On the next tier, I go for Unbound Will. Now I could be more defensive and go for Blood Horror, but in Arena, I try and keep control of my character as much as possible. Unbound Will is awesome for getting out of, say, Cyclones and trinketing CCs while the enemy is tunneling your healer so you can peel for them. Next, I've gone for Grimoire of Sacrifice, and this is down to preference and is not mandatory. In the Arena, there's nothing worse than trying to silence a healer and your pet's been feed out of range or his line of sight, so I prefer to be more in control of my spell locks. However, if I'm CC'd, there's nowhere I can silence someone without a pet, so each one really has pros and cons, but overall I prefer not to use a pet and go for Grimoire of Sacrifice. At the end here, I've gone for Kill Jaden's Cunning. It's great for mobility and pretty much the best arena talent for all Warlocks. 
Now for an RBG spec. Again, dark regen, no contest at all here. Shadow Fury. In RBGs as a Warlock, you don't want to be running in for Howl of Terrors. You want to stay back as much as possible. Shadow Fury is ranged on the shortest cooldown and can be used to stun 5 or 6, even more sometimes, people at a time in RBGs. Now, I've gone here for Sacrificial Pact and I definitely think it will be viable in RBGs. The shield is huge and the low cooldown means you'll be able to use it to survive quite a few swaps. But Dark Bargain is also an option. It acts of course like a bubble, so even though the cooldown is longer, it guarantees that you'll survive a swap. So it's really down to which one you prefer. On the 60 tier, I've gone for Blood Horror. Just keeping it up on yourself to fear away melee attackers will take some of the edge uh, off enemy swaps on you. And Unbound Will just isn't very useful in RBGs. 20% of your health is a lot to sacrifice, especially when your 3 or more healers should be able to handle dispelling you themselves most of the time. Again, I've gone for a Grimoire of Sacrifice. It just gives you a lot more DPS overall in rated battlegrounds due to the amount of AoE damage going on. And lastly, Manoroth's Fury is a must for RBGs and will boost your AoE damage again massively. Now finally, I'm going to skim over a normal BG spec that you can try. Dark Regeneration, Shadow Fury, though any of these choices are up for picks in a regular battleground really. Sacrificial Pact, Unbound Will to Break CCs, but Blood Horror is there if you prefer it. Now Grimoire of Supremacy, then try using either the Imp or the Shivara for normal battlegrounds. I really really like using the Imp for the mass dispel ability, it can really help you and your team out a lot. The Imp also does good damage and can throw a small hot on you, so it's definitely not short on utility. Also, remember that Sacrificial Pact scales better the more health it sacrifices to make the shield. Supremacy Demons have more health than regular ones, so the shield as a result is bigger. Then lastly, it's really up to you, you can go for Manoroth's Fury, but I prefer Kill Jaden's Cunning as a talent overall. As for Glyphs, these are the ones that I use, and these basically stay the same for almost every talent spec I have. Conflagrate is a mandatory Glyph, as is Healthstone. Health Funnel is also really really good to heal up your pets after using Sacrificial Pact to heal them back for the health that you sacrifice from them. Now I've gone here for the Demonic Circle Glyph which is really good for arenas but definitely not mandatory. If you play Battlegrounds a lot, especially with the Succubus or Shivara pet, Glyph of Demon Training is really really good uh, as a replacement here. But I focus more on arena so I'm going to be sticking with Demonic Circle. Also, even though I was really really excited about the new Ember Tap Glyph, after testing it properly in arenas, which I wasn't really able to do on the PTR, it's just not strong enough. It doesn't heal enough to heal through burst damage, so the instant Ember Tap heal is actually going to save you in a lot more situations. And alright, I think that's everything. Stats, talents and glyphs for this season, but don't take my word for this guys. Please test the talent specs yourself and find out what works for you. Leave any questions down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, I really hoped I helped out. Um, stay Destro and I'll see you all next time.